الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My belief in all matters is the belief of Ali Muhammad alayhi wasalam in what they have kept a secret and what they have declared. In what they have kept a secret and what they have declared and what has reached me from them and in what has not reached me. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajahum wa la'an adahum. We're all here today to commemorate the martyrdom of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wa salam, the first successor of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. But here when we tell people about the oppression of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wa salam, and why we are sad for Amir al-Mu'mineen, it's not just Ibn Muljam, la'natullahi alayhi, when he hit him on his head. Amir al-Mu'mineen suffered for 25 years. Since the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi was poisoned, Amir al-Mu'mineen suffered. First he lost the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and then he lost Fatima to Zahra alayhi salatu wa salam. That is the biggest oppression of Amir al-Mu'mineen. The hit of Ibn Muljam was nothing compared to Amir al-Mu'mineen, compared to what he suffered through Fatima to Zahra alayhi salatu wa salam. When Umar ibn al-Khattab came and he broke the ribs of Fatima to Zahra alayhi salatu wa salam. That is the oppression of Amir al-Mu'mineen. When the first stones for the building of terrorism were established, when the people ask us today, you claim that Islam is all about peace, then why do we see all of this bloodshed? We can't respond to them because people tell us, you shouldn't speak, it's too sensitive. We say that, no, we should start to speak now. Enough with this sensitivity. Fatima to Zahra alayhi salatu was salam, with her broken rib, went to the masjid to stand against the oppressors. None of us today have a broken rib. None of us today are suffering from anything. So we are the ones who need to be speaking out against this oppression. The people want an answer. They want to find out why there is terrorism in Islam. We tell them that this is not the real Islam. This is the Islam of Abu Bakr and Umar. That is the Islam. It's not this. Bar Abu Bakr Lanat. Bar Umar Lanat. Bar Aisha Lanat. That is how people are going to find out what the true Islam is. When we express the disassociation from the oppressors, those who establish terrorism, we are telling the people that there is a different Islam. The Islam of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. When the people tell us, well, this is a sensitive time, we shouldn't speak. What do we say to them? We say to them that one day, Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu was salam, during the battle of Jamal, when Aisha brought an army from Medina to kill Amir al-Mu'mineen. Someone came to Amir al-Mu'mineen and said to him, explain to me about your God. Tell me about your God in the middle of the battle. This is during the fight. So Amir al-Mu'mineen started to explain to him, this is Allah. And he started to give him the descriptions of Allah. Someone came to the Imam and said to him, Ya Imam, we are in the middle of a war. Is this the time to speak about the religion? The Imam said to him, and why are they fighting us anyway? They are fighting us for our religion. Is there a better time to tell people about the religion than during a time of war? Likewise today, the terrorists are killing people everywhere around the world. So we use this time to tell the people about Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu was salam. And who Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu was salam was? The man who led a country whilst he ate two pieces of bread during the day. Which leader of a country is like that? Which leader of a country, except for Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu was salam? And if we want to be close to Amir al-Mu'mineen, and this child crying is reminding me of the child, the son of Abi Abdullah al-Hussein salawatullahi alayhi. What kind of people kills a baby? What kind of people would kill the grandson of their prophet? These people now have a billion followers, one billion followers. This so-called Sunni Islam 
is the ideological source of terrorism in this world today. We need to start to say things as they really are. There is no need to continue hiding and lying. Telling the truth, speaking the truth is the best way forward. We have a narration from an Imam والسلام, where he says, the Messiah, Prophet Jesus, Isa والسلام, he says, if a house burns down, a house is burning down and there are houses next to it. There is a house in the middle of a neighborhood. If this house is not tackled right away from its roots and the fire is turned off and we destroy all the wood in this house so the fire has nothing to eat, all the houses will catch fire. Likewise with the oppressors. If an oppressor comes, a leader of falsehood, we need to tackle the roots of this oppressor. We need to destroy this oppressor so that the rest of the oppressors who come after him will not find the freedom to oppress further. And this is why Imam Sadiq والسلام, when he was asked about Abu Bakr and Umar, Kumayt came to him. He said to him, Ya Imam, tell me about Abu Bakr and Umar. The Imam والسلام, said to him, Ya Kumayt, مَا أُهْرِيقَ فِي الْإِسْلَامِ مَحْجَمَةٌ مِّنْ دَمْ وَلَا اكْتُسِبَ مَالٌ مِّنْ غَيْرِ حِلِّهِ وَلَا نُكِحَ فَرْجٌ حَرَامٍ إِلَّا وَذَلِكَ فِي أَعْنَاقِهِمَا أَبِي بَكْرٍ وَعُمَرٍ لَعَنَهُمَ اللَّهِ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ حَتَّى يَقُومُ إِمَامُنَا وَنَحْنُ مَعَاشِرَ بَنِي هَاشِمْ نَأْمُرُ كِبَارَنَا وَصِغَارَنَا بِسَبِّهِمَا وَالْبَرَاءَةَ مِنْهُمَا The Imam said, Ya Kumayt, not a drop of blood is shed in Islam. Nor any false marriage takes place, nor any rape takes place. Nor any money is taken unlawfully unless the burden of that is in the necks of Abu Bakr and Umar. Until the day of judgment. Until our Imam rises. And us, Bani Hashim, order our young and our big to curse them and insult them. And to disassociate from them. This is why, because they were the first oppressors in Islam. So in order to show our love for Amir al muminin alayhi salatu wasalam further, we say, Bar ibn muljim la'nat. Bar ibn muljim la'nat. Bar Abu Bakr la'nat. Bar Umar and Aisha la'nat.